Servus everybody, today we are going to... Fuck. Today we are going to be taking a look at one of the countries that I've not played on this channel before, which is the United States of America. And we are gonna go for the most fun US path, which you might say, well, for the US, that's not fun, you just do politics, but I'm gonna show you what's... <coughs> I'm still not well. We are going to go for the war department. We could build Sith factories before we get the new deal. Maybe go to Norfolk. You know what? Let's get mountaineers. Let's delete all of our planes and let's start selling them. Do we have anything else to sell? I guess we can sell like 100 convoys. Surely we have tanks. Okay, we don't start with any tanks to sell. But let me shoot everybody except for one division. And then let's train this one indefinitely. And indefinitely navally exercise. Playing as the US, we have the fun thing of doing small lobbying effort. We will have to think of this for the entirety of the rest of the game. We can also do air warplanes division. Actually a pretty insane focus. 10% fighter cost. One Doctrine for free and 25 air XP. I don't want night fighting, I want efficient communications. Dispersed. Let's get excavation one and radios. Actually, wait a minute. Was how many? Yep, there we go. I was not off with my timing. I just didn't remember that I had to wait for this one. The election of 1946. We sadly have to go with him. <laughs> now that we have the funny guy, we can get... Taft, and then we re-establish the gold standard. And then we shall do America first. Nobody really likes us right now because we brought back the gold. You know what? Let's also get Patterson. He is technically just a better Taft. Once we have the PP, he's gonna be worse. We are gonna extend the Chinese Exclusion Act, which China will not like us anymore. Sucks to be you, I guess. Again, another shipbuilding. Oh my god. I know why I don't like this path. I mean, that's the most fun. So, but no, no, you remedy the big sad a little bit. With the strongest US for a year, I've had war economy at this point and no longer big sad. So it is definitely a slower game. There we go. Let's get relief of command. Right. Let's get Coughlin. And with the next one, we can fix the big sad completely. It's finally time to hire Ironhower. The great thing is we are already in such a strong position that it doesn't really matter that we are kind of wasting our industry capacity. Okay, I I'll have to ban the Philippines. They just want my stuff and then cancel it immediately. It's starting to get annoying. Mm, I'm also gonna build a few oil yards since we don't have any construction analysis for those. Malai? Oh, look at that. We're at 30% gamer support. What a coincidence. Fuck, I should have lobbied a little bit more. <laughs> the United States will be known as the United States. Ooh, what a useful change. That's worth the PP investment. There we go. World War II has kicked off and we have just done the War Powers Act. We can do a few things here. You can continue going down the fascist path that will lead to a civil war eventually, which I'm not too interested in. So I'm going to Kyle Co uh, fire Coughlin because the fascists, they have started a world war. We will get Harold Lickles as soon as we can. It's good to be the US. We're gonna embargo the, U uh, the Mexicans, but uh, I do have other plans for the Mexicans as well. It doesn't matter to me whether you want to give me my oil back or not. I will get it regardless. It's interesting that only FDR can do all of these decisions. All right, Mexico, what say you? I could edit those templates now, but I'm not going to. Instead, we are going to declare war on Mexico for being so insolent. Mm, let's see, maybe we can cut them. No, I wanted to cut you off. But yeah, you can see this is not a big deal here at all. There we go. We could do something funky here, but I'm just gonna puppet the Mexicans completely. If I wanted to be funny, I could take Baja California and such, but I'm gonna be honest, I'll just take everything I can get. Wow. If you do FDR and you keep him around, you do get buffs, but if you take Alf Land and keep him around, you get punishments. You get debuffs. Sorry, Alf. Ah, oh, fuck, I forgot about agencies. Oh, whatever, that's fine. Let's stack on Cuba. There we go. We also have Cuba under our boot now. We just needed the 30% roll on Canada. Pretty much only wanted Canada because all of these doesn't really matter. But I mean, I'll take Panama and Nicaragua. Fuck, I also should have gone down here for destroyers for bases. We need more land. Ah, fuck you, China. Ah, it's just sent still well. Right, uh, I'm waiting for a focus, but we don't have a focus here. I'm gonna keep on puppeting people. Okay, uh, I'm gonna try these mountaineers. Just wanna 
play around with special forces a little bit today. Honestly, I do enjoy designing things, especially when you're just trying things out. I'm getting to a point where I feel like it would be a little bit more fun to just have units and MIO presets that you just load into your game. So you design those things once, then it could just be like, all right, I wanna use my presets and that's it. All right, and we have taken Islan. Okay, I didn't know it flipped to the UK first. We can do SDI does and blow up the Panama Canal, but I'm not going to do that because I have a brain. Instead, let's speed up some gamers. You might say this is a shite template because of the 104 soft attack, but that's because we don't have a proper medium tank yet. So let's design that one. I can't do it yet. 20 days, okay. I didn't even see that I had two support equipment lines. No, the Philippines are under attack. Let's declare war on El Salvador. Just a shame that I can't puppet them right now. Still though, uh, World War II and we have Canada, we have the Mexicans, we have Honduras, Guatemala, Cuba. We could have had Haiti and Dominica if I prepared naval invasions properly. <laughs> Let's demand territories from the Japanese. Okay, I kind of am working on that, but I can also guarantee you, but I also can just Finland? Oh, actually, wait a minute. I can also start working on this, the advanced landing craft. It's very ahead of time, but it's gonna make it easier when we want to D-Day. And I'm gonna D-Day, not like the AI usually does with in this patch, where it just invade the Balkans for some reason and completely neglect the battle looks in France. I've probably seen like two D-Days, but they've always been after Berlin Falls in this patch in AAT. No. What? Why did Siam accept? Well, uh, hmm. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. The Raj. Yes, the Raj can defend me. I mean, my new land. Um, there we go. It actually, this is actually working out. What the fuck? The Philippines. What are you doing? You're winning. Without my help, even. <laughs> I just hate this game. I hate this game so much. Why did I get Gibraltar? Why did I get Hong Kong from Japan? You can tell that this is a Mandagon's focus tree. I'm not saying that new focus trees make sense. I'm not saying that at all. Especially if we look down here with demand Italian Alps. I don't think Italy would give you the Alps if you were at war with them. I'll take Gibraltar, definitely. That's so, so stupid. I think it's D-Day time. Is it not? Oh, that is a greater hungry. You own Banat and Voivodina, Paraguay, Venezuela, Uruguay. Ecuador, yes. We only got Ecuador this time, but hey, still. Wait, what? That focus tree is busted. The American focus tree is busted. I just invited all of South America into my faction. I didn't get them as a puppet, but I just forced them into the allies. That's not how this focus should work. Anyway, I think we can do a neutrality act now. The UK also gave me Malaya. We are busted. Still can't. I can't believe that I got Hong Kong from Japan. You know what? I'm just gonna deck on Brazil and let my allies deal with it. They can starve down here. All right, time for a D-Day. And just in time for the D-Day, I'm also gonna deploy my tanks. We have the beachhead now. Let's just deploy all units over here. I'm gonna be lazy and just plunk down a naval base here because supply. Okay, those units have done decent damage before my tanks even arrived in Europe. I'm just gonna drop my tanks over here then. UK. You surely want to give me Hessen, right? You don't have Hessen. Okay, Westfalen. Great, because now I can build radar stations because the AI is too stupid to research them. Again, you went historical. I'd really like to know why South Africa can't deal with the fascist problem sometimes. Ah, fuck, I forgot I'm not allowed to do this or else Illuminati will come and shoot me. No, I still had planes in Panama. I could have sold those planes. This entire run is ruined. The Japanese have taken American, British, Malaya, but they aren't really that interested in Indochina and China, it looks like. The Soviets have 50%. Granted, they've taken 6 mil. I mean, they have done 6 million damage. I'm just gonna be a little bit upset if I have like 15% after taking Berlin. Oh, the AI pushed into Bangkok. Nice, nice, nice. Ah, yes, the AI will cheat again. Hmm... 
you know what? I'm just gonna prepare an attack on Rome. I can't afford sending some divisions over there. And if the AI wants to grind up on me, I'm also fine with that. Framus Knar Flokurin? Yeah, if that's the Heimatsjörnar Flokurin, then the other one is probably just democratic. As long as the British don't push here, I'm fine. I'm gonna get a bit more war score, hopefully. So I'm gonna try and cut the Germans, I mean the Soviets. Yeah, look at the Soviets. They are counterattacking now. So we need to cut them off as soon as we can. Let's try and get down here into Romania. Romana. Romana is something different. Oh god, why are there ten... Never mind. But yeah, okay, they just completely entered here. There was no way I could contest with 10 divisions. I would have had to build a port here. Border is getting relatively small. I mean, we are stretching our border. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Say. Trying to say here. Jesus fucking fuck. I wouldn't mind getting Eastern Slovakia. Oh, fuck you, Poland. If I wasn't... That is not a very good... Um... um circumstance start closing this pocket and then all of these guys can start defending here i mean it's all just war score at the end of the day oh i guess that was my fault for thinking that if i have such a huge alliance that anybody is gonna deal with the naval invasions the Laric islands ceded to italy oh nice more land for me haha it's kind of insane to think that just those 24 divisions are knocking italy out of the war i know i'm memeing a little bit here Okay, if you look at the front line, I'm memeing a lot. But still, considering how much I need for that front, and then just seeing Italy with the 24 divisions and they're dead. Because I don't have that many troops in Italy, I am thinking of building a fallback line here with the 24. But we could also just push into Vichy. No, 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 no. I'm not gonna risk it here. I'm just gonna build a front line here. Because the Germans are gonna come streaming in and with Hugo here as well. Uh, it's just a bit risky. No! My mountaineers! I guess mountaineers are useless. They were encircled. Yeah, let's, let's take Taiwan. Well, prepare the invasion for Taiwan. You know what? Let's just... Yeah, let's let's take Taiwan. No! Well, there we go. No! Well, the Soviets do have points. The Italian puppet doesn't exist again. I don't know why that sometimes just happens. Uh, I just want the colonies so that the allies are not gonna butcher it. They're gonna release 5 billion nations if I don't. The Soviets should be... Oh, no, wait a minute. That's not even... The Soviets aren't even that strong. Because they just took East... Je what have you... Done! Wouldn't really call it a curtain at this point, but uh, they do have a decent grip on the Balkans. It's just Hugo and... Why is Japan here? It's just Hugo and Poland that are missing. Then well, they want Greenland back. You know what would be funny if... Uh... Oh look, a Jojo reference! Oh right, ah, fuck, I need my navy over here. I'm just looking at this and I'm like, ah, oh, we can soon invade. Good on you, Soviets, for releasing the Sami. You could have given them more than just this one province, but I guess you were nicer than the Norwegians to them. Zero of our dockyards are being used for ship repairs, but am I using French dockyards to repair right now? Because I'm in French land. For a second I thought Turkey was at war with the Soviets. Japan has completely defeated my navy because I didn't care about it. But uh, they kind of forgot about sending troops to defend. Oh, oh, three troops, five troops in Japan. Wow, truly the pinnacle of AI behavior. Ooh, actually a lot of points here. China, you don't need Brazil. It's a pretty base path, honestly. I mean, look at this. We own so much of the world. Wait, what? They left the allies? Still though, we own all of this. We own Ecuador. Ah, uh, I didn't give that back to you. Ah. Uh. Ah, oh, fuck, I forgot. I'm gonna get a concussion after this. <laughs> this, is, this is like my ninth streak.